Since the start of this year, in a little over two months, I have written nearly a hundred thousand words of new fiction. Now I definitely know there are indie authors out there writing a similar amount every single month, every year, but for me that is a huge number of words. In the past my daily word counts have been something like a thousand words. If I hit a thousand I would be very satisfied with a good day's writing and I think that would make my average probably more like seven or eight hundred words a day. This year by contrast I have been writing a minimum of 1500 words most days and there have been a lot of days when I've written more like two or three thousand words and I didn't even have to change many habits to reach this point. So in this vlog I thought I would take you along on one of my writing work weeks but also throw in some tips on how to write more every day. So if you are looking to increase your word count and your writing speed as I was, I hope you'll enjoy the vlog. Hello, good morning. It is Monday, it is the start of another work week, it is about 8.30 in the morning. We have potentially got quite a lot of ice and snow in the weather forecast for this week so I'm really not sure what's going to happen this week. There is a chance we will be snowed in for a day or two and snow and ice always bring a lot of different problems when you are living in a caravan. Last time it got really cold our water supply froze up for a good couple of weeks. We are hoping to avoid that this time. We have got a plan to stop the pipes freezing and I don't think it's going to be as cold this week as it was before Christmas, but it's still a bit of an added level of complexity to this week. Other than that, I have got some day job work to do and we're probably going to be doing some more work on our barn conversion, but this of course is a writing vlog. So I wrote about ten and a half thousand words last week. This week I'm aiming for more like twelve thousand. I am now about a third of the way through the book I'm currently drafting. I had a little bit of a wobble with it around twenty thousand words. I was trying to take my favourite things from a previous version of the book and incorporate them into a new version with a slightly different plot and I wasn't sure if I was doing a good job and I wasn't sure if I liked the way the story was going. But last week I think I really brought things together. I did a lot of brainstorming and outlining alongside the drafting and after a couple of sessions of that I really liked the way the story was shaping up between the quarter mark and the midpoint. Now I don't use a really strict outlining technique like Save the Cat or anything like that but I do like to have major events happening at certain key points in the book. So I'm currently writing towards the midpoint at 50% and I have got lots of really fun action and character development lined up along the way. Now I also said it was about half eight in the morning so it seems like the perfect time to give you my first writing tip for producing more daily words. Now this is something I've been doing for a while but it kind of ebbs and flows in my life depending on what else I have going on and that is to write first. Now I'm perhaps not as strict about this as some people. I do not get up at 5am. I like to stay in bed until my daughter wakes up and if she's gonna sleep until half eight I will sleep until half eight. Usually it's more like seven to half seven in this household. And we have a kind of family morning routine of breakfast, getting dressed, getting ready for the day, but then once my daughter is off to school this is when I would like to get my writing in. Now like I say it is not always possible to do this, sometimes there are errands and chores and day job work that come up that need to be addressed first, but my schedule is pretty flexible and that's part of being self-employed. So if at all possible I like to take the first half hour or so of the day to get some words in. Now the key thing for me here is that I do not have to do all my words in one sitting. I am not trying to get them all done in the first hour of the workday. 
There are days when that happens and that's great and then I could not think about the book for the rest of the day. But really what I'm doing is priming my brain to keep writing at the forefront. And sometimes all that means is sitting down for 10 or 15 minutes, doing a single sprint, maybe getting 500 words and then putting the writing aside. As long as I have written something first thing in the morning, even if it's just a couple of hundred words, I find it so much easier to go back to it later in the day. Even if it means that I don't write again until seven or eight o'clock at night after my daughter is in bed. So there is my first tip for writing more. If at all possible, get your writing in early, before major errands and tasks, before your day job, before the rest of the world has had a chance to crowd into your brain and push the writing out. And now of course I need to take my own advice and get some words down. It is now Tuesday afternoon and I have ended up writing a lot more today than I expected. Now it's been a really busy day, we've been working in the barn, we're actually underpinning at the moment, which involves a lot of digging holes in the ground and pouring in concrete. So I didn't really think I was going to get a huge amount of writing done, but then I did end up having some time this afternoon and I've written about 1600 words. Now this adds to the word count from yesterday, which came to about 2200 words. That was across two projects. My main project at the moment is a continuation of a fantasy series and I'm aiming to write about 1500 words on that every day. And I've also just started another fantasy novel. That is one that I'm trying to write about seven or eight hundred words on every evening. Now I don't always do that because some nights I am just too tired to write in the evenings. But this is a series I'm kind of working on in the background. I'm hoping to write maybe the first two, three or even four books before I release any of them. So I'm just kind of chipping away at that one and I'm not expecting any real results probably for a year or so. But as I have managed to get some decent word counts in over the last couple of days, despite being quite busy, and because I'm also jumping between two different projects, which is not always easy to do, now is the perfect time to share my second tip for getting more words down. And that is to have a plan. Now, if you are a pantser, you are probably rolling your eyes at me at this point, but hear me out. I am not really an outliner. I have tried writing full outlines before and I find it incredibly tedious. I don't necessarily mind writing a book from an outline, but it does take some of the fun and spontaneity out of it. And I always feel that the books I write from full outlines are a little bit more stilted. They just don't flow the same way. And no matter how much editing I do, I can never quite recapture that. But if you want to write fast and if you want to jump around between different stories, you do need to know where you are going in each one. For me, this takes a very simple form. I will sit down with a notebook, often in the evening, and I will ask myself questions about where the story is going next. I will typically come up with the big plot points, for example, the midpoint, which I am currently writing towards in one of my books. I know what I want that midpoint to be. I know what I want the characters to get out of it. I know where I want it to take place in the world. So then I will work between what I already have written and that planned midpoint and decide how the two are going to be bridged. Sometimes I will work backwards from the midpoint, sometimes I will work forwards from what I've already written, and I will just ask myself what needs to happen. What changes do the characters need to go through to reach that midpoint and to make it realistic for them? Do they need to travel from one point to another? Are there any particular plot points that need to happen in between? And I don't set this out into scenes or chapters. I just make a 
rough list of the events that need to happen in the right order. It's very loose, it's very rough. I can plot about a quarter of a book in an hour using this method and it leaves me lots of room to make things up in the drafting stage. But it means that I very rarely write myself into corners or go off track when I'm drafting. I always know what the next major plot point is going to be. I can improvise little details and character moments around that but I always have something to write towards and that makes the drafting process so much faster. So there's my next tip for you. That's one I have been doing for a very long time but the next tip which I'm going to share next time is one I have just started doing more recently and it has had a huge impact on my writing speed. So let's see how the rest of my writing goes this week and let's see if we get any snow. There is quite a lot in the forecast. I'm both looking forward to it and I'm a little bit apprehensive because it always makes life more difficult but I think it's going to be a very interesting end to the week. Good morning, it is Wednesday. It was very cold last night. It's about minus five outside right now. It was more like minus nine or 10 when we got up this morning. Living in the caravan, that creates all sorts of problems. We have to turn the water off to the caravan if the temperatures get too low, like they did last night, because the water pipes coming into the caravan have to cross the gap between the ground and the bottom of the caravan. It's quite raised up and no matter how much we wrap them up it's never quite enough so they do freeze quite easily. But this morning it doesn't really matter that we've got no water because all the drains have also frozen. So hopefully everything will defrost as the day goes on. It does look like it's going to be quite a pleasant sunny day. Yesterday was similarly cold but it actually felt quite nice during the day. Now today is going to be quite busy for me. We had a last minute booking in our Airbnb so we We've got lots of cleaning and sorting to do in the house. It is potentially going to snow quite a lot over the weekend so we are getting ourselves ready for that. Now in terms of writing, yesterday I finished on about 2,500 words so I was really happy with that because it was a very busy day. Today my goal is probably going to be something similar. I am going to be busy but I do get to completely set my schedule on a day like this. I have no other appointments, nothing else happening so I can usually find a decent chunk of writing time. And in fact, I am going to get started on that now. It is about three o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. I worked this morning and we spent quite a lot of time trying to defrost various pipes around the caravan, but I have also written. I've done about 1500 words so far and I expect I'll do a few more tonight. So whilst it has been a busy day, I've done pretty well at getting the words in. And I thought now I would share my third and final tip for getting more words written even when you're busy and time is short. 
Now this one is the one that has made the most difference to me and it is doing timed writing sprints. Now the thing about this one is that it's a tip that is banded about in the writing community all the time and yet I was always convinced it would not work for me. I felt that if I sat down to write and didn't have a very great deal of time I would still be able to get plenty done and I would write just as quickly if I didn't set a timer. But it turns out that is completely wrong. Over the winter, when I was really trying to increase my word count, I got into the habit of doing two 30 minute writing sprints every day. So that's only an hour of writing on an average day and yet I would typically write over 2,000 words in that hour. Half hour sprints seem to work best for me. Shorter sprints are okay if I really don't have time but I don't quite get up to my maximum writing speed and anything more than half an hour and I get a little bit distracted. Now I also realised that I used to do something very similar to this back Back when I was just out of uni which is that I tended to put on an album when I wrote and I would write for the length of the album typically 45 minutes to an hour that worked really well for me because I love listening to an entire album in one go but I did also get a little bit distracted by listening to the music and maybe looking up things about the band so it wasn't quite as effective as just setting a timer I use the timer app in Windows that comes with my laptop and then I just write now this is one of those things that does work best for me when paired with my previous two tips I get more done on writing sprints in the morning and I also write more during the sprints if I have planned in advance what I am going to write but overall this has been huge for me in just writing more words on a daily basis. Sitting down and committing to writing 2,000 words felt absolutely monumental and a little bit terrifying to me. Saying I was going to write for half an hour in the morning and then another half an hour in the afternoon though was much less scary. It just feels like less of a commitment and yet I always always surprise myself by how many words I can get written in each sprint. So there is my final tip for you. You might be able to hear the fire behind me. It is just getting going. We're still waiting to see if we get any snow this weekend and I will be back to wrap up the vlog and give you my final word count as we get towards the end of the week. It is Friday morning and we have woken up to loads of snow which means it's going to be a bit of an unusual day today. My daughter is off school. We're going to be trying to spend lots of time outside but I have already written a thousand words this morning. I will say I didn't write anything yesterday. I was working and I read a lot and honestly I did just need a day off. Even when you are aiming to write some really big word counts that doesn't mean you can never take a break and I usually find that the day after a break is always very productive. So I really just wanted to end this vlog with a few thoughts about mindset. Now I think that's a bit of a buzzword at the moment and I don't particularly like the idea that you can just fix everything that is wrong with your life if you just want something different hard enough. I find that quite reductive and a bit insulting really because there are a lot of things that you cannot simply think your way out of. But for something as basic as getting more words on the page, I do think mindset plays a huge role. For many, many years, I'd basically convinced myself that I could only write a thousand words a day. Partly that was a time issue, I was just too busy and I couldn't get more words than that. And I also thought that if I wrote more than a thousand words, I would burn out, I would be too tired, I wouldn't write anything the following day. But honestly the last few months have completely proved me wrong. I have written so much since the start of the year and I've had long periods when I have written more than 2,000 words, sometimes more than 3,000 words, for days and days at a time. And really alongside all the tips I've shared in this vlog, a lot of that comes down to the fact that I just told myself I could do this. I started looking at how long it actually 
actually took me to write a thousand words or two thousand. I decided that I did have time in my day and that's not because life is any quieter right now, I just decided to shoehorn more writing time in. And crucially, I really wanted to write more. Now, there are lots of ways to accomplish this. Sometimes you just start a story that you love so much that you cannot put it down. Sometimes, of course, you have a deadline and writing more is non-negotiable. For me, knowing that everything I write, I am able to publish because I am an indie author and I have complete control over my career is really motivating to me. Seeing that finished product is one of the most satisfying things about being an author. So I would say if you are struggling to write a lot, maybe ask yourself why you want to write more and also why you're not doing it already. Maybe you don't actually like the story you're writing. Maybe you have somehow convinced yourself that writing more will lead to a decline in quality. Maybe you've also convinced yourself you are too busy Busy, but if you look at your schedule you will probably find more gaps than you think. And on the flip side of course if you want to write more just focus on why you're doing it because that can be incredibly motivating. So it is time for me to wrap this vlog up now. It is beautifully sunny and snowy outside so I'm about to go outside and take advantage of that and I will of course be writing more words later today. As always keep writing everyone and I'll see you next time.